Hey guys, and here we are, as promised, to install Plex on the Raspberry Pi 4. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way to install Plex server on the Raspberry Pi 4. And sorry for the redundancy. Now, if you have missed the last video regarding Diet Pi, I will leave a link down below for the playlist. And all you need to do is to follow that video to be able to reach this screen that we have right over here. It's very easy and once we have this one ready we will be able to install everything that we need including Plex which we are going to do today. Now besides installing Plex server we will also mount a network drive also known as and sorry for my pronunciation but it's the best that I can do NAS unit or network attached storage solution and or network drive to be more precise and one thing that we will do is to mount that network drive on the Raspberry Pi so that we can emulate that it's a local drive so that Plex can grab info in this particular case movies and series uh, to populate and then we can obviously watch anywhere on our network and even outside our network. Now that being said Let's go straight for it. I think I'm not forgetting anything. So let me just check if yes I've got everything running one camera the screen and the mic as well So I will need to launch die pi launcher and execute Right over here. I want to search for the install optimized ready to run software, which is great diet pi. I love diet pi and let's go and it will say it will give me another menu and what I want to search right now is software optimized select diet by optimized software for installation okay and now I only have one LXDE which is the desktop that we are seeing right now this uh, installation right over here and I want to search for uh, Plex here we go we also have MB right over here but that's for another time Plex server okay and okay and here uh, I will need to go to select installed software uh, sorry I want to go start installation for this selected software so let's press OK and here uh, it will say that Pi is now ready to install your software of choice press OK and the beauty of it is that it will do everything for us I don't need to do anything else at this moment except wait because it will take a few minutes and I'll be right back And the installation is finished as we can see on screen now all we need to do is to reboot the machine so let's do that press ok and uh, we will be back in a few milliseconds once again so we are back on the desktop and right now the plex server is running without doing anything at all i did miss to record the boot process but that's no issues at all now let's open up firefox and um, and let's open as well diet by launcher uh, just so that we can see or make sure the IP address that we have so our IP address or my IP address in this particular case is this one right over here and this is the IP address that we will need to place here now this is the second time that I'm doing this actually not the second the third of the third time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, address right over here and this is the only thing that we need to write uh, the IP address and then two dots 32400 slash web and press enter and if everything is working okay we will have the Plex server interface right now and uh, I will place got it and and diet by I will I will give the name to diet by 4 B because I'm almost sure that the other one is not working so because I, I've created several servers here on Raspberry Pi and so that I'm sure that this one will be the one that we'll be using in this video here we go now in terms of adding library I can just select the USB drive and plug it into the Raspberry Pi and I can add the library but what I wanted to do as I said in the beginning is to mount my network drive like it was a local drive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this window right over here actually no I'm going to close this one and I'm going to open diet by config which is right over here and what I want to search is network options misc and here I want to mount control network storage okay let's go for it press ok and um, add refresh and add network drive is the option that I want so let's press ok once again here we have Samba and NFS I've got both services but to simplify 
let's choose Samba, which is the most common. The drive uh, address is, in my particular case, 192. The one that I want to use here, 168.1.3, okay. Uh, and then my shared folder is multimedia, okay. And then the username uh, is public, but I'll place my name. Okay, and any passwords will be just fine. Insert again and uh, summon. We're gonna put it uh, diet uh, server. Just I, I don't remember the name that I gave gave on the la gave on the last uh, video that I recorded in Portuguese. So let's put diet server by. Four. So this is unique. <laughs> there will be no mistake. So press OK and it will do its thing and mount completed. The new mount can be accessed via mount diet server by four. Press OK. We can shut this down. And right now if I go to add library, I want to add some movies. I want to press next. And if you already uh, done this process, then just don't waste more of your time. Leave a thumbs up if possible. If you are a beginner, a beginner on Plex server, then just follow along. Now browse for media folder. Great. And we will see the diet by server four right over here, which was the one that we just created. I think that this one was on the previous video, so it's still here. Uh, but I want to, let me just check. Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same with a different name, but let's use this one, which was the one that we created. This is movies in my language, which is Portuguese, and I'm gonna press. And right now uh, I can add library and that's about it. I can press next and done. And what Plex server is going to do, uh, as you can see, it's already with activity and it's scanning for the movies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up for a few moments. I'm going to leave the Plex server do its thing and in a few moments I'll be back here just to show the library working. So the library is still loading, there are quite a few movies right over here, uh, but we can scroll and see that some of the covers have been already uh, downloaded and the CPU is working quite hard at this moment because it's getting a lot of information and so on and so forth. But the thing is that the server is already working. I've got a tablet right over here of this server that is grabbing, which is Diet by 4B, which was the one that we just configured. And if we search, have in mind that these covers that are still not downloaded will do in time. So if I leave it for a couple of hours, all the movers will be indexed with everything. Um, let's play a movie right over here. It can be this cartoons, the Angry Birds. So if I press play, we can start watching and sorry about that. I will not record another screen. Now, if I move forward, working just great. And if we take a look at the screen, uh, the CPU is working quite hard, but of course it's doing a lot of things and it's not because of the transcode because this machine is totally capable. Uh, and even if I want to fast forward, or rewind, I can just uh, do so without any issues. Of course, in my particular case, I prefer to consume this media on Android TV boxes spread around the house, but a tablet is a choice. And in my particular case, right over here, it's the easiest way to test out and show you guys that the server that we are watching on the screen is working right here to serve media to this tablet, which is great. Now I can just leave this. And guys, basically this is it. We have the server, uh, Plex server. We also have mounted a network drive into the Raspberry Pi 4, which was used on Plex, but you can use for anything else. Let's say that you have a cloud service and you want to mount a drive that you have anywhere on your house. It doesn't need to be connected to the Pi itself. So here's another scenario and I'm sure that you will have a lot more. I would appreciate your feedback down below, whatever you want to see on next. I have a few requests, but I will try to get to all of them in time. Once again, hopefully this video was helpful. I don't know if you can see this thingy here on the Raspberry Pi. I have to change the case. I've got to buy something with cooling, but that's a story for another video. As I was saying, hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that you thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.